Hey guys, Rick Denham here with Holy Moly Outdoors. Today we're going to talk about the king salmon fishing that just opened up here on Puget Sound a few days ago. Fishing is great and it's an opportunity for us to get out there and chase after these kings for a short period of time before that quota is taken up. So I want to go over today a little bit of how to get you guys set up and ready to catch some big kings. First we'll break down a little bit on the gear itself. If you're looking at a rod that you want that really crosses over to so many different types of fisheries and something that really can handle whatever you throw at it. I have found myself personally, it doesn't mean that you guys can't use something different, but a great down rear rod that can do everything you ask for it is one of the Velocity um, Salmon Extreme series. This is the 6 to 15. I love this rod. I use it for sockeye, for silvers, for pinks. Everything you can use with the downrigger, this works great holds up to big kings as well really a great rod to set up I pair it up with a good um, saltwater reel this happens to be a Shimano TR100 um, you could use some of the other reels that are out there as well but for me this one has always done very well in the salt and um, you know you can really set yourself up with a couple different ways um, there's so many different varieties of lures out there and flashers um, you can go straight plugs. I kind of like personally having a variety in the boat. So after you've chosen the right rod that pairs up with the reel, uh, we're running 20 to 25 pound mainline um, on our reels and then you're going down to a flasher of some sort. And there's a couple varieties out there. Personally, I have really liked the Dick Knight Extractor flashers because they do, in a sense, break away and instead of the traditional breakaway style these actually will slide up the line so a fish hits you are now fighting the fish and the flasher is not making things more difficult on you so dick knight extractor flasher is one that i like using come in a variety of colors and uh, they've been working really good for me you can also go to something of more of your traditional hot spot style which just is a typical rotating uh, flasher there. Colors wise, I like in the mornings to more that glows and um, contrasting colors. You know, your, your red racer style with the glow. Uh, when we start to finally hit um, your sunlight and high UV periods of time, um, purple haze is a great one. And this is again one of those Dick Knight Extractors, Purple Onion from Hotspot is a really good one as well. So just having a variety with you on the boat to change up is really key. And then we start breaking down into lure selection. Right now in the sound, the bait is small. And because of that, we want to match the hatch as best as we can. There's a couple different ways you can do that. You can either run hardware or you can run, you know, your... Uh, hoochies and bait you can run straight plugs it's a variety of things out there and it's up to you to decide what you want to use so I really like fishing those flashers with spoons so my first setup would potentially be something like this if I'm running spoons whether Dick Knight or a normal flasher there probably 40 inches of leader here to a spoon this one happens to be a uh, Gold's Custom painted one. Done really well with that one. You could also use a Gold Star Coho Killer to mimic those fish because right now a lot of it is small bait and candlefish. So these are perfect imitations to that. But a 46, 42 inch liter kind of all depends on how you guys want the action to be. Something else that you know came out for the kokanee market was the the micro 2.25 cut plug and I've rigged this thing up to fish for a chinook so we'll see how that one goes. But then you can go like I said to the route of fishing a flasher which is a hoochie and you can go the rubber hoochie way or you can go something that's more of a synthetic material Personally, I've started going more to the synthetic. They look more lifelike. Like here is a Sand Lance Olympic Tackle. Um, they look absolutely killer. 
and to fish behind a flasher you're imitating as close as you can to the bait itself. You saw here with the first rigging that I showed I have one completely rigged up here we go so you have the sand lance confetti color Olympic tackle and I got a wiggle fin disc on the front to give it just a little bit more action which I've also then added a little bit longer leader generally I don't know 36 inches is a good way to put it but I've added probably to about 40 to give this just a little bit more enticing action on the water tipping it with a little bit of bait would really help too um, with the hoochie wise so I'd recommend if you got some or have a way to get a hold of some that you can get a little bit of herring strips and tip the hooks work really well um, you can go to more of a traditional smaller profile but like a squid imitation a small bait at this time of the year has seemed to be the ticket sometimes they want something bigger so that's a more herring imitation from Olympic Tackle but those big squids, the rubber squids you have, the gold star, everything, those work well too um, there's no doubt about it um, and you can use in a variety of scents to go with these especially like let's say if you're going to be fishing spoons um, I have those AN Sporting scent sticks which actually have one right here so for scents then you can go and use something like one of these AN Sporting scent sticks and you could put that on a plug, you put on a spoon really makes it um, easy to use but then when you have baits like you know, your mini cup plug you can fill that with herring or tuna however you would like really makes for enticing a little bit more on the fish um, then you can go look at something more of a stationary lure itself without a flasher and that's when we're looking at atomic plug you can fish these straight out of the package um, with the tow hook and just run your line straight on it don't need any swivels don't need anything else just fish that directly it's a very effective way to do it um, so really you guys this is the fun part we only get a couple weeks to do this season because of the quota and it's going to be really fun to get back out there we hooked a couple the other day just sub legal but I know that the fishing's been really good so I can't wait myself to get back out in the water but hope this helps a um, little bit on uh, some Chinook fishing one more thing I will add to make your life easier while you're out there when you are hooking some of these fish whether it's sub legal or wild you want to make sure that you can have them close to the boat without having to really touch them a whole lot to release them and something whether it's a good pliers or a good de hooker I have really found that these um, handle right pliers make it really handy to I can hold this in my hand I'm not going to lose it over the side of the boat I can grab the leader reach down lift the hook and that fish is gone without me having to do anything with bringing it into the net so keep that in mind as well um, but guys fishing is really good fishing all over area 9 right now um, there's some coho and some pink starting to show too, so keep it in the water and you never know what you're going to catch. So, hope you guys have some fun, hope this helps, and we'll see you out on the water. Thanks a lot guys. Fish on!